Gotta hydrate yourself. Cheers. Can you see that parting? Look at that parting girl. A dancer knows how to part her hair. I don't want to cry. Honestly, I've never felt pain like this. And I So today I am just going to be doing a little life update with you all. A few people have asked for me to film one of these because I have been here for almost three months now. Yeah, I mean it doesn't seem that long but for me it is really long. It's the first time I've ever lived away so yeah, three months is a lot and I'm not going to tiptoe around the fact that I have struggled. It has been hard and I am really missing home. Like I'm re really ready to come back now. So as you might be able to see by the title I have ended up injured, yeah, I went to hospital, I have torn my meniscus and I have fluid damage in my knee, so yeah, it's not ideal when I'm here to be training, not ideal at all. So a little bit of a story time, um, a few weeks ago I was in a dance class and I landed a jump wrong. So I forgot to play it. Well, not even that I forgot to play it. I just didn't. And I know you play it after a, after a leap or a jump. And I didn't. And my whole kneecap exploded to the side. Um, I felt like a big pop and then lots of pins and needles. Um, but me being the brave soldier that I am, I'm being absolutely terrified to go to a Spanish hospital. I was like, nope, I'm fine. I'm gonna fine. I'm gonna be fine. I continued to walk on it for the rest of the day. Um, still in massive amounts of pain but I refuse to get it looked at over the hospital yeah stupid me I know and I was told that it would be like three weeks to be strong enough to dance on so like entering the third week I was in jazz class it was this Monday and I was like you know what I've not felt pain in my knee all weekend like I've been walking on it fine so I was like let's do the class let's do it I'm sick of sitting out I'm sick of not being able to dance so let's just do it. And honestly, it was going so well. Like I was doing the sequences, the warm up perfect. Um, no pain, nothing at all. So I did one sequence and it was so good. And honestly, it felt amazing to be dancing again. I was like, yes, I'm dancing again, I can do it. Um, and then he added a new step, a new like combination onto the end of the sequence. Um, and it was a side leap at the end of it and I was like, you know what, Connie, let's just mark it. And I was marking the side leap and I was do I'm doing this because this is this is me marking my side leap. Um I marked my side leap and I honestly couldn't feel any pain and it didn't feel weird at all to be just be marking it. So I was like, you got this. It's been three weeks, it's sort of it's take three weeks to heal. So I mean I think you can see where it's going. So I did the whole routine and honestly, I was doing it pretty good. It was going well. Um so basically it was like Paddleboard, Ray, step ball change, grand step, grand jetty, grand jetty, and um, step side leap. So it's like, yeah, nailed it, we can do this, we can jetty for days. Um, came to do my side leap. Yeah, um, my knee was not strong, you know, at all. <laughs> Honestly, I've never felt pain like this. I completely fell to the floor and collapsed in like massive I don't want to cry <laughs> I'm just really frustrated at myself but yeah I fell to the floor and collapsed um couldn't get up and instantly like couldn't feel my toes I had like a pain in my bum it's really so I can feel it like my butt cheek <laughs> I'm like everything is just tightened up all my muscles contracted um, I just remember like shouting and hitting the floor because I was so angry and so like pissed off at myself like oh it's just really annoying because 
that's the whole reason why I've come here to train. Yeah, it's just really shit. I've already sat out for three weeks. My um, classmates have been absolutely amazing. But yeah, I had to get an ambulance to the hospital. And thank God people in my class spoke Spanish. One of my good friends came to the hospital with me. And yeah, it went from there really. But like, I have so much gratitude to my classmates and just love for them. They're amazing. I was in bits crying because I just knew like, yeah, Connie, you've done it this time. Like, yeah. it was a bit like, ha, I told you so, you should have gone to the hospital first time sort of thing. Um, they were so sweet and just really supportive and really kind. Obviously, like, I was, I was in so much pain and the pain was making me feel sick that I just felt like I was going to throw up. And I was just crying because I was so annoyed and frustrated because you know when you kind of just know that like yeah you've kind of buggered it it was one of them moments so I got taken to hospital in the back of an ambulance and for me this is really scary like it, I don't have my mum here I don't have my dad but it was a weird experience I was like sat on a gurney for three hours on a corridor like even before I was seen so I got an x-ray and because of the part of my knee that I have torn, it doesn't actually show up on the x-ray, so we kind of knew straight away that that's what it was. But yeah, I tore that, um, and basically, if it doesn't get better or it becomes recurring, I will have to have an operation on it, yeah. I am on crutches, I have anti-inflammatory medication, I'm like, I don't really know what the medication is, but it's like healing medication, I guess, to stop it from swelling. And then I have some really strong painkillers that make me feel very drowsy and tired and sleepy and a bit nauseous. Just in a lot of pain, really. Yeah, it's not ideal. I live half away, half an half an hour, half away, half an hour away. What I was trying to say there and said really badly was the fact that I live about half an hour walking distance from the school so it's not very ideal in this situation. So yeah, imagine that on crutches. I did try and do the walk yesterday um, to go in for my musical theatre rep class. Um, I felt it was really important for me to be there as I can't do the Christmas sharing. I have to completely rest for minimum three weeks to a month. And then after that time period, we're gonna find out if the operation is gonna be needed. Pray I don't have to have it because that's just more recovery time that I just can't sustain at the moment. I hate not being able to, to I hate not being able to do stuff for myself. Like, bless my roommates, they are such angels. Like, they're literally doing everything for me, which is really nice. And I guess it's like reassuring for my parents to know that I have people here who are looking after me. Not just for my parents, but like, I mean, I guess it's hard for my boyfriend as well for me to be like, knowing I'm in so much pain over here and there's nothing he can do about it or my parents can do about it. Yeah, I have some great people around me looking after me. Going back to my rep class, I felt like it was really important for me to be there, um, purely because they have the respace numbers, so I need to be there to tell people what I was doing, what I was saying and where I stood, just so they can put people in my spaces or to rearrange lines or choreography so it fits. Um, and it's just sad that I can't show the rest of my school what I can do just yet. So yeah, first Christmas sharing and I can't do it, so... Yeah, I don't feel too good about that. I'm an absolute mess. Um, and my poor boyfriend has literally taken the brunt of it all just because who else am I going to take it out on? I'm so annoyed and I'm so upset at myself. It was hard and... It's really hard not being able to have my family here, just because who do you want more when you're like injured or ill or upset? You want your mum, don't you? So it's really crap not to have her here. <laughs> really crap. And I don't do well with pain. I'm such a soppy ass and little miss feel sorry for myself. Oh, oh no, my makeup. <laughs> I didn't want to cry, I didn't want to cry. But honestly, I'm so emotional and I've been emotional for the past week. 
like not just because of my knee just because of how homesick I am I'm gonna insert some videos from the day I injured myself because I was like you know what let's make light of the situation we'll get that YouTube content for my friends and family at home to see what's what's up what's going on what's going down and oh my year not even my year but like my school is just amazing the support I have they serenaded me I was getting taken out of the studio on a bloody gurney and they were serenading me like who welcome to drama school it's I need to. Did she do the bow? Bow. She did it. Even before. Alice. Intenta doblarlo, cariño. Try and do it. Doblarlo poco a poco. Very, very slowly. Puedes? No, no, no. 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 No, Es que es youtuber, entonces necesita contenido para YouTube. Ah, sí. Sí, sí. ¿Qué pasa? Ah, bueno. I have two weeks left and I can't dance. I am all drugged up. I have medication, painkillers, gel. I have a strap on my knee. Strap on on my knee. Um, I've got crutches. All of the above, really. Uh, I struggle, but we're gonna get by. I'm not dying. I can walk just about. Like, it's not the end of the world, is it? Let's be honest, it's not the end of the world. I did not like the hospital. Didn't like it at all. It was not as cosy as an English hospital, if you can even call hospitals cosy. It was, it was weird, like, we were all, everyone who was on a gurney were like lined up on a corridor. I had for three hours waiting for an x-ray. And an x-ray that didn't even show anything. Like, let me show you my x-ray. I have a really beautiful knee. Please tell me that this is not the most gorgeous knee you've ever seen. So this is my fibula and my tibia. This is the other bone I was talking about. And my meniscus sits in between there. To my understanding, this is what I think. And that is what I have torn. And that basically it's a lot of fluid in there. That isn't ideal for fluid to be there. Yeah, I'm also very stressed out and talking to my insurance company because injury is expensive. Um, I've had to have two taxis, that's expensive, like, it's all expensive and I need some way of getting myself to and from college because like I said, I'm a half an hour walk away. It's a struggle, um, I can't get taxis every day because hello I'm a student I don't have any student loan like it's expensive to live here as it is um physio is expensive but I'm gonna need physio yeah it's like 27 pound for every physio class but I'm being a good insurance claimer and I have all my receipts I have my hospital documents that they have personal details on so we're not gonna put them on YouTube yeah 
um, and just having to be organised and keep everything together so I can claim it all back so that overdraft isn't looking too bad once I get that back <laughs> it's been not a great few days and honestly it's making me feel really low about myself like dancing was my strongest form here as being on a musical theatre course so having that taken away from me and then having to be like dancing and singing action down here and having to just sustain them knowing that I'm not very good at them yet it's just I've had the one thing that I was good at taken away from me and yeah it's kind of crap this has been a really negative video but I promise you I don't mean to be I just updating you on how I'm feeling like yeah I might be counting down the days until I go home which is 14 days if anyone wants to know I mean when I feel crap or I'm just sad or I'm kind of like why am I here um just go down to the beach and I can look and just look at where I'm training I am in one of the most beautiful cities ever and I am so lucky to be training here and I have worked my butt off to be here. I, if I wasn't good enough, I wouldn't have got in. If they didn't see potential in me, I wouldn't have got in. And these are the things I need to hold on to when I'm feeling shit. Um, and I think it's very easy to feel crappy when you're sat out on the sidelines watching everyone else do a routine. I have rambled for half an hour. But I'm trying to not make it a very long and rambly video because who wants to watch that? Also got my pyjamas on just to be cosy and cute because like I said I've only just got out of bed. So how's drama school everyone asks me? Are you enjoying it? What do you do? What's a day in the life at drama school like? And hon, it's coming your way. Um, I am halfway through editing that video. I have filmed a week in the life of a drama school student. Um, but I have a lot of work so editing videos like that where it's like vlog content for a week it's hard to keep up to date and uploading it so it is coming I'm doing my very best to edit as much as I can in my downtime when I'm not rehearsing assignments assessment like research monologue research but yeah so that's what I'm finding quite hard at the moment to balance school life which is probably most important and then my YouTube um, but I, YouTube's my downtime and at the moment I really enjoy doing it and um, so I'm going to continue to do it it's just going to be slower than what I kind of would like to but I mean when I'm home for summer or over Christmas yeah I've, I've got a lot of cool videos planned I've got some planned for Christmas I've got some a lot of exciting things happening next year which I definitely want to vlog take my camera along with mm. so yeah I have a lot of cool content coming your way it's just obviously going to be a bit slower because yeah i am a student drama school you have to be there you have to be in it you have to be on top of your routines on top of all your technical work and like i have to do my singing every day especially because where i am with my nodules i still need to be doing my exercises every day so yeah and if you want i can do a video on having nodules and what it's like training with nodules because I have struggled, again, like quite mentally struggled with it because it's another setback that I have compared to people who have been doing musical theatre their whole life and don't have the setback of nodules. Um, but I'm becoming, like, to realise that nodules aren't a bad thing. Like, mine probably won't ever go. They might just shrink, but they probably won't ever go. Um, and I won't ever really get the closure that I want when I sing. But use that to my advantage. That makes me have a different voice to most people. Like Adele's had nodules twice, or it might be three times, and look at her. I can do a whole video on nodules if you want, just because I know it's not just me who suffers with them, and a lot of people do suffer with them. And a lot of people who are in the industry or wanting to go into the industry struggle with nodules because they are something that you're gonna have to deal with and get on with. It's live, you have the setbacks, and all you gotta do is build a bridge and get over them. Work around them, work to your strengths and your abilities. For me, 
my ability and my strength are is I, I am a good performer when I'm on stage. Like, I know how to perform my socks off. So for me, that's what I can use. Might not be the strongest singer, but put me on stage and I can perform. Or put me in a classroom in an audition and I'll be able to perform my socks off. And that's not me tooting my own hole, that's me having a bit of self-love. And that's what I've learned being here a lot about is self-love and just loving myself for who I am. Because if I can't, then who else is? How can I walk into an audition and expect an auditionee? An auditioner? Someone who's judging me to be like, yeah, this girl knows what she wants. This girl is amazing. If I don't think I'm amazing. So yeah, by saying I'm a good performer isn't me treating my own horn or giving myself a big head, big ego. That's just me saying, yeah, I like that about myself and that's okay to like yourself and it's okay to like something about you. So yeah, I am on a massive journey and I can't wait to see where I come in three years. Um, I'm excited to see the person I'm going to be and I'm really excited to take you guys along with me if you still want to stick around and watch me grow as a person watch my adventures grow because yeah this whole thing is a life-changing adventure and I am so grateful and so lucky to be experience it so thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed please give it a big thumbs up and also please subscribe to my channel um, I'm really excited to see where this goes and I hope you guys are enjoying my videos if there's anything you want to see just DM me comment down below yeah, if there's anything you'd like me to do, if you're looking to audition, I could do a video on my audition process. Not that I did too many. Um, I learned a lot from my auditions, especially because I decided to audition for musical theatre and dance and I didn't get a lot of musical theatre audition technique training. So if you do want to see a video on that, comment down below. So please like, hit the subscribe button and also press the bell notifications if you want to see more from me. Thanks for watching guys. Love you. Bye.